Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, I'd like to talk about the electron configuration of sodium and magnesium. I'll be using the diagonal rule, which works for almost every element in the periodic table, but there are exceptions, and I'll leave a list of those exceptions at the end of this video. Let's first set up our chart. I'll start with the s orbital, so I'll number 1 through 7. Then I move to the p orbitals, 2 through 7 then the D's, then the F's. The S orbital can hold up to 2. The P orbital can hold up to 6. The D orbital can hold up to 10. And the F orbital can hold up to 14. And notice that they go up by 4 each time. Now I'll get started with sodium. I need to know how many electrons sodium has. It has an atomic number 11, so it will have 11 electrons. I will start at 1s, and it can hold 2, so it would be 1s2. Then I go to 2s, that will be 2s2. Then I will move to 2p, and it can hold up to 6, that is 2p6. And that leaves 1 left for the 3s, so it will be 3s1. And here it is written using the noble gas. Next, let's look at magnesium has an atomic number of 12, so it has 12 electrons. I'm going to start at 1s, so it would be 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, that gives me 10 electrons I've used, so it would be a 3s2. And here it is written with the noble gas. And as promised, here are the exceptions to the rule. So there we go, the electron configuration of sodium and magnesium. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. And Moo Moo Math uploads a new math and science video every day. Please subscribe and share.